A number of you helped me create Echo Canyon on my layout. Today I'm going to explain how you helped me. Coming right up. I'm Roy Smith. A surprising number of you have traveled through Echo Canyon, Utah on Interstate 80. And while traveling through there, many of you have filmed and photographed the canyon. Then you posted your videos and photos on the internet. It was these videos and these photos that helped me create the canyon and I really appreciate it. Today I want to share with you clips from four such videos. The clips that you are about to see were uploaded by John Avitcola, MBTA3247, Cameron Lafleur, and Roy Hardwick. A great big thanks to all four of you. I can share only a small portion of these four videos with you, but I will put links down below where you can go to watch the videos in their entirety. Videos like the ones which you are about to see not only helped me create the canyon, they also did something else perhaps even more important. Back in early 2014, I was roaming around on the internet one day when I stumbled upon some photos of the canyon with Union Pacific trains running through it. These photos instantly brought me back to model railroading after being out of the hobby for almost 30 years. Now then, this is what Echo Canyon looked like on my layout back in July 2018, right before I began to build the scene. Not much to see here, just some plywood and track. But let me show you what it looks like today. The canyon stretches 25 miles on the prototype, but on my layout, it extends only six feet. Certainly, there was no way that I could replicate the canyon on my small layout. All I could do was capture the feel of it. As you can see, the canyon features Echo Creek, the Union Pacific Tracks, Echo Canyon Road, and the Canyon Cliffs. The colors of the cliffs are orange-red, but the colors do vary as the sunlight changes during the day and indeed throughout the year. And the colors of the vegetation also vary for the same reason. Believe it or not, I still have a lot of work to do in the canyon. For example, I need to add more vegetation along Echo Creek, and I need to paint and ballast the track. The fact is, there isn't a single square inch anywhere on my layout that is 100% complete. Even so, Echo Canyon is the best spot for rail fanning on the Evanston subdivision, both on the prototype and on my layout. Now then, let's take a look at clips from the first of the four videos that I'm going to share with you. John Abitacola posted the first of the four. In the video, John was traveling eastbound through the canyon on Interstate 80, along with Alvin Gilbert and Gary Parasso, during one of John's epic chasing train trips. All right, so we're coming up into enter the, what's called Echo Canyon. And I mentioned this the last time we were we were up here a couple of years ago, that this is the the area that my friend Roy models Roy Smith in Panama models Echo Canyon, and I think he did a good job because when I see his layout on YouTube, this is what I see, and I mentioned it again on the last time we were up here about a bridge that he also model which is coming up here in a minute but that's that bridge i was talking about roy smith modeled that bridge and the first time i saw roy's layout on youtube i saw that bridge i'm like oh this is actually pretty damn accurate and here's a loaded coal train descending westbound through the canyon of my layout During this trip, John and his companions also stopped at the Roundhouse and Rail Yards in Evanston. After that, they continued on to the Rail Yard in Green River. Evanston and Green River both appear on my layout, and I will show you each of them in a moment. 
Here is the roundhouse and rail yard in Evanston. The Union Pacific donated this railroad complex to the city of Evanston back in the 1970s. The noise you hear is the sound of the turntable, which is functional and which you can ride on during events at the railroad complex. That's what John and his two intrepid companions did. And here's the railroad complex at Evanston on my layout. I created the structures in the complex in 2019, but I still have to do the rail yard itself. Now at the pedestrian bridge in Green River. This is a great spot for rail fanning here at Green River, both on the prototype and on my layout. said he wished he could have spent more time here because there were so many trains to see. And here's Green River on my layout. This was the first part of the layout I built starting in 2014. Next up, a clip from a video posted by MBTA3247. He filmed the clip that I am about to show you from the roadside rest area and Utah Welcome Center along the westbound lanes of Interstate 80 in Echo Canyon. What you're about to see is a truly spectacular view of the canyon and Union Pacific trains running through it. Now a clip from a video uploaded by Cameron Lafleur. Note the colors of the soil and vegetation. These are the same colors I have used on my layout. a clip from one of Roy Hardwick's videos. You've heard me talk about Roy's Echo Canyon videos in the past. Roy is a trucker who often drives through the canyon on Interstate 80, filming the canyon as he goes. He is driving eastbound in this video. So we be in Echo Canyon. This is what Roy Smith is uh, trying to recreate on his uh, Evanston UP, or is it UP Evanston subdivision? So of course I'm on the eastbound side. So there's the road, let's see the, the cliffs, the bluffs, the road tracks, and the creek is actually on the west side of, or on the south side of me right now. So, yeah, I see what Roy means. I keep telling him it looks like the cliffs need to be redder, but according to my phone, they're pretty white. 
so I guess it's the camera settings and whatnot. Of course, these up here are getting more red. I can't tell them yet. I don't like that look. I'll zoom back out. So what if I get the mirror in there, right? We all know how I record my... So we just crossed Echo Creek and there's bluffs and they do look more white in the video than they do in real life. I mean, me staring at them through the window, they look a lot redder. Well, maybe orange. Maybe it's orange. So I'm climbing. Can't see the railroad tracks and still see the bluffs. Vegetation. I got. I think he definitely nailed the vegetation. How it how it looks, and it's just sporadic. And there's a, there's a little ridge line there. It, you know, there's some bushes and some trees on it. Well, there you have it. That's how many of you helped me create Echo Canyon on my layout. You did it by posting videos and photos of the canyon on the internet. I wanted to share these four videos with you as a way to express my gratitude. Now then, my friends, I encourage all of you to do what these four model railroad friends have done whenever and wherever you travel, because it may help someone who is modeling the area that you are traveling through. Remember to watch the four videos in their entirety. The links are down below. As always, I'm Roy Smith. Until next time, happy railroading.